Hey folks, uh, good day to you. VM Explorer here with your VMware Daily Tip number 37. Today's tip's all about splitting up those large files and getting them transferred to various destinations. You know, one of the problems with those large files is, well, they're large, <laughs> right? They're 40 gig, they're 100 gig, they're several hundred gig. And when you're trying to transfer a large file like that, like an ISO or an OVA or even log files to a certain a uh, support organization, let's say through an FTE website that constantly fails, <laughs> right? Uh, as you're transferring these files, you'll notice that sometimes they fail. And it can be really frustrating, especially after you've been transferring it, you're at 39 gig of 40 gig, and it fails. And then you got to start all over again. And, and it's fresh, super frustrating, right? Uh, absolutely. So that, that is one use case. Another use case is you might have a file that's uh, too big to fit on one USB stick, but you have two. So where did I get these tips? Well, a long time ago, we used to have these things called uh, floppy disks. <laughs> they were, uh, you know, 1.2 meg or 1.44 meg. And the challenge we had were files were getting so large, we couldn't fit them on the floppy disks. And we had to split them across multiple floppy disks. Well, that uh, brought up the program PKZip and 7-Zip to the rescue to save it. So that's what we're going to be talking about today is how to split those files up into multiple files so that you're able to transfer them and have less failures and a better experience. Let's take a look at the problem. Okay. So this is the file we're talking about today. This is big ISO file, <laughs> 3.8 gig. And what we're going to do in the end is we're going to split it up. And as you can see, I've already split this one up into 500 meg chunks using a program called 7-Zip. You can find 7-Zip here at 7-Zip.org. Simply download the file and get it installed. It's a, a whopping 1.4, 1.2 meg uh, in size. Really small, but works really well. When you open the program, it looks something like this. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to create a new archive. Okay, In this case, this is our target file. Right? Uh, I'll tell you what, let's clear this out. Let's go ahead and clear these out first get rid of those so they're not here and all we see in 7-zip is the big ISO so everything's nice and clear so if we add this to our archive we can choose any format we want in this case I'm choosing zip and if you notice down here it says split two volumes in bytes so if we click this down arrow we can see how big each file will be well in this case I want 500 meg files right which is a good round number and once I hit OK, 7-Zip is going to start processing it. So it's going to go through its processing, and you can see it's compressing the files and creating the files. And if you notice, these 1 meg files are going to start to show up. And it's going to go through, and it's going to make about 8 of these files. And I'll explain those a bit more. So for now, let's just pause the video. And when it's done, I'll come back and we'll explain the next steps. All right, and we're back, and it's just about done. As you can see, it's making these one meg files, they're just reference files, right? And very soon, once it completes, you're gonna notice that all of these files split up into the size we chose, which is about 500 meg. I think it comes out to 524 meg. There you go. So it made those eight files. So now what I would do is I would get these files, all eight of them, and I'd start copy them, copying them, FTPing them, putting them wherever I need them to go. And as I'm transferring these files, if there's a failure, let's say I get one through four done. So one was successful, two got through, three got through, and four failed. Well, the destination already has the first three, so I would just pick up at four. I'd start sending four through eight. I'd continue down, and let's say it failed on seven. Well, now I just resend seven and eight, and before you know it, they have all eight files. You could do the same thing with the USB stick. Maybe you cut these into 500 meg files and you split them across multiple USB sticks. Pretty easy to do. And then you can reconstruct it, copy them back down to a folder like I have here. Let's say this is the destination now and I'm looking at this file. Well, all I have to do to reconstruct this is go into the first file, right click and open with 7-zip, open the archive. Okay, there it is. I'm just going to rename this file to 2 so it doesn't overwrite it. And of course on the destination that wouldn't be there. And now all I have to do is say extract and where to. And here comes the file right there. It's starting to extract the file and uncompress it. It's combining all eight of those back into the file and recreating the file. 
super easy. Well, folks, I uh, do hope that this uh, quick little blog tip has helped you out. I can't tell you how many times it's helped me out over the years, especially with floppy disks into USB drives, right? Uh, into transferring files across the internet, especially large files. And as things grow with, o with uh, OVA files and VMs continue to grow and different files continue to grow, still splitting these files out into multiple chunks and transferring them might help you solve those solutions when you have connectivity problems. Folks, thank you so much. The links to uh, this particular session will be in the description as always. Uh, please leave your comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts and do hit subscribe.